surprise. I haven't actually. really thought about Alex Wasabi. I've just, like he said, I just want to find like, uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to just go through you. I was in a club. They see me in a pub anyway. She saw me like a beacon, brighter than a light And she was tweaking, running through the streets The streets want me Hey, what's up, it's your boy King Jwigs here today And I'm back with another video Today, I'm gonna be reacting to Deji versus Alex Wasabi A boxing, a boxing match coming I said boxing A boxing match, match coming up uh, between these two YouTubers, and I guess they're just gonna talk it out and specify why they're exactly going to win this fight. So let's get right into it and see what we got going on here. I'm so interested. I'm team British. You know what I mean? I was on your side the first time. Look, 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 before we get into it. The first time I was on Deji's side to beat Jake Paul. And bro, do you know what happened to me? Legitimately, I quit watching YouTube. Like I I had like an addic a YouTube addiction back in the, like in high school. So like when this dude when I saw this dude lost, bro, I literally quit YouTube for like a, a week and a half. And for me, that's like a huge deal. Like you but now I'm going to try to take breaks. Like, it's funny because I'm a YouTuber. How you take breaks from YouTube when you're a YouTuber. But honestly, you just don't watch anything. You just just upload while you watch. Yeah, it's... I mean, I know what I'm going to do. But yeah. It just... It, something, like, broke down in my mind. I was like, yo. Deji. You you, you could have... You could have won that. And he didn't. And then he came again. This fight, I was like, "Oh yeah, Deji got this. Look at look how big he is." And then this dude, uh, Venny Hacker. I think this is his name. I'm not sure, but he has a spider tattoo. But yeah, that guy, the anime guy, you know, he um, I did not think he was gonna win that. And you know, jeez. This guy took a knee in the middle of a boxing fight in front of a gajillion amount of people. So, I just honestly, I believe that that was like the Logan Paul Japan situation, but for Deji. It's like a wake-up call, like, yo, Deji, it's time. It's time to take things serious and try to train and work hard for what you want. Because you, you can't just be pulling up like, oh... I'm overweight. I'm not even fit. My cardio's down. Everything. You just pull on to fight. Nah, man. They're Andy Shepard here. You gotta get show into stars this. face um, to face. And I'm about to be joined by the two competitors. As far as this goes. Main event. Will it be a story of redemption for our hometown hero on March the 5th? Or a will his low. opponent pick up the win for Team yeah, USA? It's Deji versus Alex Wasabi. Alex, Deji, thank you oh, for, for you. joining me and fight week has quite literally just got underway you both recently arrived yeah i'm on deji's side so i'm the chilling first time you're here. getting to see each other face to face um oh. alex I'll, I'll start with you um what you better you win this all right the eyes and, well, but if you lose this one i'm really quitting um, youtube for real i think he i mean he looks pretty confident i'm excited about it because he looked like that in the other fights, but he didn't really back it up. But this time, I think that I might get to fight the actual Deji. I think that uh, Jake and Vinny got to fight KSI's little brother. But I actually get to fight Deji, so I respect it. And Deji, not of appreciation there, which is nice. What do you see in Alex? What do you think, bro? Honestly, a lack of confidence. Hmm. And underestimating me. No, I don't under underestimate you at all. I think I prepared for you to be the best at Why do I feel like every time this in. dude, um, Wasabi speaks, it's like a, a very, like, sarcastic and nice, like, I don't know, like, yo. Sometimes when he speaks, it's just giving me, like, not, not, like, like, in his head, he's like, 
Oh no no no! I'm not I'm not underestimating you. And it says that yeah, boy, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, bro. Will we get in that ring? You mean when we get in that ring? I'm gonna knock you out. I'm gonna knock you out, Deji. But nah, he that's all in his head. Now he's gonna be like, oh no no no! I don't underestimate you. And that's what I believe you will be. I don't think you have. What? Prepared? Yeah. I've been training every single day. I've been training before you even asked me to box you. I was training. Hmm. Okay, but we'll see March 5th. Yeah. Hmm. So I, uh, I have a question. So why did you ask me to fight? I don't know. I guess. Yo, no, no weird stuff, but like, why is something like he's like, so why did you ask me out on a date? I have a question. So why did you ask me to fight? I don't know, I guess. You wanted to fight JJ, didn't you? But you- Yeah, then I, I, I got to know boxing and the weight classes, but uh, we're more of a match, yeah. But then, um, I don't know, you backed out, but mm -hmm. but now you can't back out now. So yeah. I, I just, I just want to fight you, really. So what? What would you rate uh, Jake boxing wise from one to ten? I'll give him a solid eight. eight okay. Eight, nine, yeah. What about Vinny? Uh, Vinny wasn't that good, mm -hmm. but his cardio was really good. It's funny, bro. Like, it's funny how he says Vinny isn't good, right? And then, like, you're calling the person that be you not good. But you know, in fact, like, he really wasn't good. That's why. That's what made it a crazy, like, big deal. Like, I don't know. But let's get into, like, some more juicy things. I don't know. Let's see what we have over here. Just uh, cornering people, trying to get prepared for that, because that's the only thing that, like, you can't really get prepared for. And so, I mean, well, if I were you, that's what I would be hoping happens. Because the only way, that's the only way, it's not going to happen, but it, that's the only way you would have an advantage over me. Because I got the height. Uh, we weigh the same. Um, I got the reach. I, I, yeah. I mean, so you have no excuses then? I have no excuses, yeah. Okay, perfect, cool. Oh, perfect, I like yeah. that. You have Let's no go. excuses. Deji, is there some added pressure on you? We talk about yeah, being in your hometown. Clap, mm. clap. We talk about your past performances, and you've spoken openly that you didn't prepare, particularly for your last fight. Mm. You didn't take it seriously. Yeah. yeah. He just threw his jacket on the ground. Do you feel pressure mm. to perform? in front of your hometown on Saturday night? At the beginning, yes, I did. I did feel pressured, but then as camp carried on going, mm -hmm. my confidence was just building up. And then, yeah, now it's just time to show what I can do, March 5th. Same. I believe in you, Deji, you got Okay, this, oh, here's another question. Okay. All right. You got this. So you switched camps, right? Yeah. Was it a coincidence that you did that less than a week after my strength and conditioning video went up? Because that, that's a pretty big coincidence. Mm, I don't know. What do you mean? Like, my video went up, and then you saw how oh, hard I, I was I, working. I don't, I don't watch your video. Bro, I swear this sounds like a couple, bro, like a toxic couple. Like, I don't know. This sounds weird, the way that they're just talking about. I don't know. This is very, like, the, I don't know, and then this wasabi too. This dude is like, I don't know. Did you, did you upload that picture of that girl, and did that make you want to, want to text me? Uh, let me move on. Yeah, so I, I wouldn't know. I'm that was probably right. corny. So I think here's some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, uh, you would say with your coach now, you you're going 100. percent Yeah. So. Were you not going as hard with your previous coach? No, I was. I just so, wasn't being tested. Meaning what? I was being the sparring. It was too easy for me. They were letting you get and, away and with it. And it wasn't meant to be easy. Mm. So you were sparring light before, and so in the last five weeks, you've been sparring really hard. So you've been training at my level for the last five weeks that I've been training at for like four, four months. 
and that's what you think. And yes. I, that's just what I'm just looking at the facts. That's just what it seems like. If I switch camps Yo, because it was too easy, that means I wasn't going hard enough until that's my new true. camp, which was five weeks ago. Three more so for the last five weeks, you've been going hard. But is that enough time? I've been going hard since my last fight with Vinny. Mm. I lost the weight. Mm-hmm. I will. I will beat myself up because mm-hmm. that was a fight I should have won. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I've just been training, training, training. I like that they're not that hot. Did you, there, there has been some talk about your preparations. We know that cardio has been one of your weak points, particularly in your last fight. Yeah. And Alex does make a point others have brought up, that changing camp six weeks out from a fight after yeah. Alex posted some training footage. Yeah. People yeah. have said, perhaps you saw that, perhaps there was some, there's some concern. Yeah. You're saying that none of that played into your decision to change camp six weeks out? No. What played into it was uh, me realising that I really wasn't being tested when I was sparring. I was getting the better of my sparring partner already. Okay. I mean, Let's go on a bit more. That's a good spot, though. But You're partially doing it for your brother? But let's talk bit? about that for a moment. You, yeah. You're saying... I'm doing it for myself. Mm-hmm. You said you want to donate a, a percentage of your purse or mm-hmm. a lot no, of No, all of it's going to my little brother's college, yeah. Um, he was kind of like a timid kid growing up, and I tried to get him out of his shell, and I had a big part of uh, raising him growing up. So, like, everything I do is pretty much for him. So, uh all of my purse is going to his college fund. I want my brother to, my brother to watch this and, and watch the fight and be like, wow. You know, I think that's cool, like how he's trying to do all that for his brother. I feel like maybe, in all honesty, like maybe, um, hold up. I don't know if y'all can hear me. But maybe like this dude It kinda reminds me of how human everyone is, like like you know, like Deji's not doing it for himself. I mean no he is. It's for himself and like his brother like his family, too, because I think his dad and his mom was like, oh, you should have won that or something. And like, oh, you didn't take it serious. So it was like, I'm about to just go in the middle, Loki. Oh, what the heck, bro? But yeah, I was going to back into it. Oh, like, I really can do anything and go to college, like, fully confident. Did you, you've spoken in some of the content that's been released recently about, about your brother, yeah. about... What would mean to you to, to win on Saturday for him to come in and to give you a hug? Yeah, like, see? He really put like, KSI, man. The punches that you land, it's not really power. It's more like catching when you're not ready, hitting with punches that you didn't see coming. I'm not going to lie, bro. You thought it was going to turn up? Or is this a surprise? I haven't Alex. really thought about Alex Asabi. I've just, like he said, I just want to fight. He's on his grind. I can't uh, what's going to happen is Alex. I'm going to just go through you. I'm going to just break you. I'm going to... Eat yeah. you alive, bro. Yeah. Honestly, I'm not just. <laughs> <laughs> How will people think about Deji after Saturday night? A lot of people are underestimating me, mm. obviously, because of my last performances. So, a lot of them are going to be like, "Okay, Deji puts in the work. Deji can achieve," mm. and that's exactly what's going to happen on Saturday. They're gonna. So you're saying after this, they're gonna respect you as a boxer? Yeah. But right now they don't. Well, because I haven't really, maybe maybe some people, they've uh, been like, okay, yeah, Deji's doing the work, but mm-hmm. ultimately it's it's fight night that's going to decide what's, you know, yeah. what people Bro, are really Deji thinking, got like, that, thinking bro. about. Deji got that, How much of this you fight, of course, time, your opponent's sick? No, I tell Deji, him do you think 11, 11 years plus. Are you, are you think that Alex has come into this fight to try and regain? Put Rele- yeah, I, I, I believe he's doing this for relevancy, 100%. Hmm. That's, that's what I believe. I believe um, his heart really isn't in boxing. He's saying all of this stuff that, Ooh. you know, his heart's in boxing. Mm-hmm. He wants to you look confident. This is, we're about to get. This is Alex Wasabi, top of the card, Saturday night on Showstar Boxing. Okay. Deji, Deji has that. 
Deji got that in the bag. Alex, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. You're going inside a ringer for bull, and you're the sheep. You're going to get clapped. You need to look for your shepherd and become a wolf because there's no way you're going to beat this. Even in the, even if you became a wolf, you can't beat the bull. You just can't. So, you know, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more, and comment and let me know. Uh, just let me know if if y'all like what you gonna call it. Oh yeah, let me know in the comments if you who you think is gonna win. Do you think uh Deji's gonna win or do you think Alex Wasabi's gonna win? Uh, I personally like obviously if you watched the video just now. I obviously am on Deji's side, and he's definitely gonna win this fight. Uh, just stay tuned for more. King J Wigs out. Peace out. I was in a club, they see me in a pub anyway, she saw me like a beacon, brighter than a light.